Hello, um, I apologise for my lack of videos. I have had really rubbish quality things to record with and I couldn't bring myself to do it. And this isn't ideal, but yeah. This video is basically going to explain my story of discovering Asian culture such as like J-Rock and K-Pop. Um, yeah, Bethany's here, it's chilly. Hello. Well, she's at my house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm here, chilling, really. Um, so my story starts way back in 2005. So I would have been 11 turning 12. Oh God. And I was flicking through the old TV and then I saw, I don't have to pronou pronounce it like without a Japanese accent, like Naruto or Naruto or something. Yeah, you did. And I saw that and I watched it for a bit and I really liked it so I got really into it and that was my first anime and then I started watching episodes online because in the UK they had only released the first series when it had actually the series had almost been completed so. and then I watched the English dub to start off with and then I got more interested in it and I wanted to watch more and then I could only find videos of the Japanese with English subs so I started watching those and that's where my love of Japan started. I started getting into like the theme song so that's how I got into my Japanese music and then it probably stayed like that watching various anime and reading some manga until about 2009 when I became friends with this thing. Hello. <laughs> we we're both kind of in our emo stage. I'm still kind of there. And we were fat. And we were fat. <laughs> I had short black hair and I looked like a dyke. Yeah. Which I kind of am, but oh well. And she introduced me to a couple of J-Rock bands like Anchor Bay, LMC. And I really liked them. Versailles. No, I, I find Versailles myself. Really. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And, um,. I was really into them because I was still into my heavy music and I still am now it's still like a big influence in my life like alternative scene and stuff and so I listened to them for about a year non-stop and then at the end of 2009 Bethany introduced me to Super Junior mm. and I hate to say it I didn't like them because they weren't heavy at that point in my life I would not accept people or things for what they were unless they were matching my ideal stereotype. Which So I'm glad to say that K-pop helped me to get rid of stereotypes and accept things for what they are, accept people for who they are regardless of their tastes, personal preferences, stuff like that, so that's a good life lesson. And yeah, so but I listened to Sorry Sorry a couple of times and I was just like, no, it's not heavy, it's rubbish. And then I listened closely and I, re I really liked it. And so that's where it started. And then I'd say late 2009 to early 2010, Beth would always talk about this band called Shiny. And I was just like, I'm not even going to give them a chance. They've got a stupid name. It's Shiny, for God's <laughs> sake. <laughs> like, bloody hell, why would anyone name a band Shiny? Shiny. Shiny, shiny. <laughs> and then I think I relented one day because you kept harassing me about them. I um, did not harass, I just fangirled openly. <laughs> and so I watched the video for Ring Ding Dong. Ring Ding Dong. Ring Ding Dong. Ding 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 Ding. Um, and I was like, wait, these guys are pretty hot. And I don't look like they should be in a band called Shiny. <laughs> <laughs> shiny made, the name Shiny made it a bit... It's a bit cool. camp. It's a bit camp. It is a bit camp. And then I watched, I listened oh, to a few more songs like Lucifer and stuff. And then I watched Hello Baby. And along with listening to the music, I also got to know the individual personalities of the band. And they're all pretty amazing people. Who's your bias? And Minho is my bias. And he. <laughs> Yeah, uh, frog or bash. Shit in hell. Language. Sorry, Ash, all on my dear. And yeah, 
But even though I'm very into the K-pop now, I'm just like shiny. Occasionally you see Virginia, but they're quite quiet at the moment, so. Um, boyfriend, teen top, and I have also recently gotten to Yukis, influence of Gessie. Me. And yeah, Maybe so. The best. <laughs> and so Sorry. that is my story, basically. Um, and as I said earlier, it's taught me to stop stereotyping people. I've also learned a lot about a completely new culture and I'm also into the cinema and stuff so it's given me a whole new life and lease of life and I really appreciate what he has done for me and so this video is really long now really long but um thank you very much for watching Bethany also has her story on her channel so go check that out mine's better and he <laughs> If you could like give me a like or a subscribe or whatever I'm meant to beg for, <laughs> then I think it's like I, I appreciate the likes and subscribes, but I think it's a bit cheeky asking. <laughs> Ooh, cheeky. But yeah, um, thank you and like and subscribe and all that jazz, and I will be back very soon. Bye bye. I didn't click the right place, now my ending's rubbish. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye bye.